back at y'all with another Pro Tools tips and tricks video. Today we're going to talk about busting your channels. I get a lot of questions asking me how to bust these channels. Um, how do I bust them to my vocal mix channel or my Submaster or Chorus Mix? And today I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, first off, you want to come up here to Setup. Alright, and then come down to your I.O. settings and click it. Now you come in here and you can name each bus for a particular channel, which that's what I do. You know, I do my vocal mix one, vocal mix two, so on and so forth. And I do the same with the chorus. See, by naming these channels, it'll make it a little easier on you knowing where uh, you're sending this sound to and where, you're, and where your outputs are. All right, and also make me a submaster. So after you do that, you click OK. Now I'll say here are all my chorus tracks. Now I want all my chorus tracks to come in to my chorus mix first. So I can have a moderate volume control over all of them, the whole mix of the chorus. So what I do is I come up here and on each one of my chorus tracks, you click it, you click the bus, and you choose chorus stereo. I'm sorry, it'd be course mixed stereo. And you do this for each one of these channels. Now this is the output. So the output, you want the sound of these channels going out to this bus. And then you come over here to your course mix channel, which would be an aux stereo channel. And the input would be the same bus as you output it from the course. Now that means every one of these vocal tracks will come into this track. Now to get these sounds to go back out to your submaster, you kind of do the same thing. Your output would be your submaster. And on your submaster aux track, your input would be submaster. Now this is how you send channels over to aux tracks to have a, a volume control over all of them. I mean it's pretty simple. It works the same way with the vocals. You know, you choose what um bus you have your vocals on which mine will be on vocal one mix. You choose that for all of, all of your uh, ver uh, vocals. And then you come over here to your vocal mix aux track and choose the input to be the same one. By doing this, you send them all there. Now each one of your aux tracks, aux tracks should be sent out to the submaster except the submaster. On the submaster output, you want to choose your interface and your analog out, whatever that might be. I name my monitors just to uh, keep track of it. And on your master fader, you should do the same. All right, now that we got the whole bus thing, you know, pretty much down, I showed y'all how to do that. Um, plugins I use for my submaster master tracks. Well, on my submaster, I always use the L3LL. I love this plugin. It, it has a limiter, compressor, and an EQ. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, they have some pretty good presets from them, you know. As far as your 24-bit hot and pumping to 16-bit uh, moderate limiting, um, high-res CD master. You know, they have a lot of these different settings on here, and I love these settings. I mean, they're great. Um, most of the time. I do my own tweaking to these, you know, so, and I always try to keep my output or my out ceiling at minus 3 dB because you're going to max out the volume for uh, when you master these tracks, you know, when you get the album together and you master them is when you would make all these tracks really pumping and get the volume levels to about the same so you don't have that up and down on your CD. Always when you're bouncing these tracks, you want to keep the output at minus at minus three uh, three dB to minus six dB. You want it kind of soft when you come out of here. You know, you don't want it super pumping or extremely loud because when you go to master them, then you'll get a lot of clipping. So, on my master fader, I do use a, a simple uh, L1 limiter from Waves. 
it's pretty you know i love waves i love these plugins so happy that i finally got around to getting them so uh you know it's nothing simple i still keep my ceiling at three and my threshold between six and eight it's nothing big and the release is all you know that, that's still a personal preference you know whatever you like a lot of this is personal preference these are just settings i use you know so um that's about it for the plugins i use on my master and submaster and how to bust these channels if y'all got any questions leave it in the comments below or pm me um rate and subscribe and go to my website and cop that new mixtape from my boy killer man all right it's your boy ill will i'll holler at y'all